Hey guys, it's Brie. So today I'm doing a comparison between the Lily Cup and the Bella Cup. Both of these are the smaller sizes, the Bella Cup small and this is the Lily Cup size A. So first of all I will compare the length for you guys. So you can see I've cut the stem off both these cups. The Bella Cup definitely had the longest stem of these two. The Lily Cup stem wasn't that much longer, it was only about this long. Um, and the Bella Cup had, I think you can almost see like, these bobbles that went down. And it was quite a long stem, I do remember that, but I've had this cup a long time. So it hasn't had its stem in a while. That's the length compared. It's kind of hard to compare rims with the Lily Cup because it's at a slanted angle, as you can see there. But I will do my best for you guys. As you can see, they're pretty much the same, actually. That's probably the best way to compare them. Like that. And resistance-wise... These cups are very hard to hold together. Um, the Lily Cup has a spine in it. If you've watched my review on this cup, you can probably just see it in there, that shadow. That's slightly firmer silicone, and it's got one there and on this side as well. So that makes it kind of difficult to do a comparison, but feeding them this way, the Bella Cup definitely feels a lot softer than the Lily Cup. It might be hard to show it, though. But I think you can see there that it is softer. Yeah. Obviously the Lily Cup has a different type of rim, it's got this little pore zone there and it has like a no spill rim. Personally I don't think this is really that necessary, I've never had an issue with spilling and to be honest when you're taking your matchstick cup out you're already sitting over the toilet so if you do spill it just goes straight into the toilet. But the Bella Cup has a more pronounced rim than the Lily Cup, Lily Cup's completely smooth and the Bella Cup isn't obviously, it does have a protruding rim. The Lily Cup doesn't have any suction release holes, and the Bella Cup does. And as you can see here, this is the Bella Cup's pouch. And this is the Lily Cup's pouch. And of these two, the Lily Cup's pouch is definitely the nicest. It feels better made, and it's a much nicer material. Grip rings. As you can see on both these cups, neither of these cups have grip rings. The Bella Cup has this kind of different fab material. I want to say fabric, then that's not the right word different type of material on it. The Ruby Cup did have some grip rings on its stem but I had to cut the stem off just because I really do not need stems and it was, this cup's already quite long so I couldn't have inserted it with its stem on. I've just washed this cup out by the way, if there's some water inside that's why. These two lines here, they are slightly different material but to be honest they don't make a slightest bit of difference when you're trying to remove the cup. It just, there's barely any difference in feel there. They're, they're definitely not a very good grip ring by any means. It's almost not worth them even being there to be honest. They don't do anything. Um, I can only, well I can't even really detect that much of a difference in its, the, the feel of it. It looks like it would be slightly rougher and easier to grip but that's just definitely not the case. Overall, both these cups I like quite a bit actually. Um, the Bella Cup I don't use as much because it's a softer cup and the soft cup I tend to naturally go for is the Sabel Cup. But the Lily Cup I do like, I just can't use it when my cervix has dropped down quite low. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching.